Welcome to getting started with the ODBC Client Driver. This video will provide an overview of the ODBC Client Driver's functionality as well as show the configuration of the four different access methods used by the driver to retrieve data. We will assume that the viewer has general knowledge of Kepware, basic SQL database skills, and is able to properly configure a DSN. If you are unsure of how to configure a DSN, please see the Getting Started Configuring a DSN video from our YouTube channel. The ODBC Client Driver works in conjunction with Kepware to provide single point access to multiple ODBC data sources via open database connectivity. The goal of ODBC is to make it possible to gather any data from any application, regardless of which database management system it's handling the data. With the ODBC data now available in Kepware, other clients such as SCADA or cloud applications have secure access to this data via OPC UA, OPC DA, MQTT, REST, or the always-on protocol from ThingWorks. The most common use case for the ODBC client driver is to assist in recipe management systems. In this hypothetical situation, we want Kepware to gather specific values for an injection molding application from a SQL database. These values include the mold ID, SKU ID, material color, barrel temperature, injection speed, and recovery time. We will showcase the four different access methods that the driver uses to retrieve the recipe data. The four access methods used are fixed table, dynamic table, stored procedure, and query. The fixed table method allows Kepware to access each item in the data source table and will create a corresponding tag for each item. The columns will become tag groups, and row values will become individual tags in that tag group. The dynamic table method will show data from a selected column. Kepper provides control tags to allow the client to select a specific column. This method is the most common access method used in SCADA or HMI applications. The stored procedure method allows Kepper to initiate a pre-configured stored procedure in the ODBC database. The procedure will only execute when the client writes to the execute tag in Kepware. And finally, the query method allows users to select and execute their own queries from Kepware. Users can retrieve tags from whole tables and specific records. Although the query access method can be used to execute stored procedures that return many result sets, the generated tags are from the first result set only. For more information, see choosing query or stored procedure access method in the help documentation. Let's get started. As with other Kepware projects, we will begin by first creating a channel, then a device, and then configure our tags. For the case of the ODBC client driver, the channel configuration will determine which DSN to use to connect to our ODBC data source. As stated earlier, the DSN has been pre-configured for this video. Next, we will create our devices, which in this case will act as the access methods. The first will be the fixed table method. Similar to other Kepware configurations, most of the properties can be left at the default values. Once we get to the access method screen, we can view the four options and make our selection. This screen will allow us to select the table that we want to attach to the device. We'll select our block recipe table and click Next. We'll see the various columns to be pulled in from the screen. We'll click Finish and confirm in the event log that the tags have been generated. We can now see the various columns listed as tag groups, with the corresponding values as part of that group. If we open the Quick Client and browse to our device, we can see the recipe values for each tag group. The next method will be the dynamic table access method. The setup is similar to the fixed table access method in that we select our access method in table selection from within our ODBC data source. Once we click finish, we'll confirm the tag generation in the event log and view the tags created in our device. Notice that we only have one tag per column, but we do have a number of control tags created. When we open the Quick Client, we can see the value of those tags populated with the first row of values for the table. If we write to the Move Table Next tag, we will select the next row of values in the table.
We can repeat that process with the Move Table Previous tag to move the row selection back to the original selection. Please note, the Record Count tag will show how many records are found within that table. In this case, we have 18 different records or recipes to choose from. The third access method will be the Store Procedure Access method. Like the other configurations, we will navigate to the Access Method Selection screen and then choose Stored Procedure. Now, instead of selecting a table, we will be selecting a stored procedure. In this case, our procedure will pull the parameters associated with the particular SKU number. So we will see the tags being generated, but when we open Quick Client, you'll see the values are blank. This is because we have not yet executed the procedure. First, we need to determine which SKU number to use as reference, in this case, the 2x2 two two red block. And then initiate the execution by writing to the execute tag. You'll now see the 2x2 two two red block recipe data populated in the corresponding tags. The final access method will be the query access method. We will build a query within Kepware to run at a certain interval of time to pull data from the ODBC database. This query will select from our block recipe data and import the values associated with the 2x2 two two red recipe. The trigger column will be the last column updated and acts as a trigger to the client to confirm that the query execution is complete and the tags have all been updated. This can help ensure that your data is fully up to date before starting a new query. Once we click complete, the query will automatically execute and we will see our tag groups created corresponding to the values in the table. We'll once again open the quick client to validate the data from the table. Congratulations on your successful implementation of the ODBC client driver.